Hey everybody, and another uh, little different kind of video for you today. I am reworking a bunch of timer chips that go on a Panasonic ETLAD60W, ETLAD1000, I believe also, or ETLAE1000. On uh, ETLAD 12K, I think, is the other one, or just ETLAD 12. If uh, if you look carefully at the EEPROM, you may notice that what is supposed to be on pin 1, the beveled side, is actually on pin 5. <clears throat> I have a uh, tray, or a Kanban, full. Uh, I don't know, 20, 30 some chips that all have the EEPROMs installed backwards. And what happens then is you put it in the projector and the projector won't start because it shuts down the 5 volt or 3 volt rail depending. So what I'm going to do is use the hot air to uh, loosen these and then flip them around. So what I do is I have the uh, heater underneath set to about 100 C that will pre-warm the board so that I only have to heat it for a short period of time. And then I won't drop it each time, but then I'm going to take the EEPROMs off. And then we will flux and reattach them. The nice thing about using the preheater underneath is that it really cuts down on the amount of heat that I have to apply from the top. Like that. Alright, so then next, just just a little dab of flux. Oop. Just a little bit of flux. And then we're just going to set these guys about where they need to go. If, uh, if I do this right, the surface tension of the solder should pull them into position. So let's see, so I have those straight, but the one in the middle I have upside down. Yeah, I didn't put it in the same direction. I need to uh, pay attention to that. But they do have the pins marked, so that makes it a little easier. Oop, what did I just drop? A uh, piece of wire. Alright, so this should be very quick. The front melted, back melted, and it pulled into position. The same thing should happen here. There we go. Then I'm just using this old uh, solder tool. Now if anybody wants to know, I am running my temperatures a little bit on the higher side. I'm running this at 315C, which is a little higher than I'd like to run, but it's just for a very short period that it's exposed, so it's fine. And that's it. So this will get cleaned up. I'm going to clean all these off with uh, some alcohol. And then I will uh, go through and double check their programming because they came from the vendor uh, with the chips backwards, so I have no idea if they've ever been programmed or not. Then I just take another set of three, and I could do more than three if I had more fingers set up on here, but eh, three is a good number because then I can keep an eye on everything and make sure I don't overlook something. 
So let's zoom in so you can see that solder melt. What it should do is kind of change to a shinier look like that. Let's see, focus. There we go. Last but not least, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seconds. All right. One. You can see it really doesn't take that long. So then we'll just spin these around. Just spin these guys around. Oh, that one's already spun around. And then once I know these are good, they will get reinstalled back onto their lamps. Right now the lamps are pulled and sitting on a shelf waiting for me to uh, finish redoing these chips. Because I will not send out a chip or a lamp with a chip if I know it has a problem. It's just not worth it. I'm sure most folks would rather wait a day or two. I know it's right. Now, fortunately, I'm not delaying any orders because of this. There's plenty of good ones ready to go. It's just for the uh, 20 or 30 so that need this done. There we go. You may have seen the uh, surface tension in play there. All right. Put them out here on the table to cool. And then three more until it's finished. So, oops. So rather than uh, make small talk for the next, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I'm just going to go ahead and do these. And if I run into anything uh, video worthy, I will share it. And if not, I will get this processed and uploaded. So if you have any questions about timer chips, any kind, Panasonic, InFocus, doesn't matter, put it in the comments. Uh, if you have any specific questions about your timer chip or your projector, uh, feel free to private message me. Other than that, thank you for watching.